what is up YouTube this is DJ Phantom here and today I want to give some of my thoughts and ideas about DevStream 122 that went on today and um, I would like to mention that at the beginning they had um, a DE Steve had came out with a um, whiteboard to write out the roadmap that was going to happen for this year and he had got suggestions also from the twitch chat and i would uh i was going to give a suggestion but i was at school and um my phone was also dead so i wasn't able to do that and i was going to suggest like maybe they could implement competitive conclave sadly i wasn't able to do that but um after that i did hear that he made a joke about the assets because they were talking about one of the two of the new warframes that they're planning on releasing this year and when i thought of when they said that i had thought about uh what about setna and the executioners what if they like randomly appeared throughout like certain setna missions like i would go into a survival and about like about five minutes one of the executioners would uh, come out and like try to kill me like they might escape because something went wrong in containing them so they know they would get out or it was like an emergency because a uh, Tenno or Warframe was going around like healing a lot of Grenier and they needed some help so then they like pulled some of the executioners out to assist in uh, taking down the Warframe or Tenno and that was that was just like one of the ideas that I had and after that they uh, started talking about the one of the new warframes which was Hildren and when I first saw that like I looked at the head and it instantly reminded me of Octavia because like like if you see the image you'll know what I mean if you like do a side-by-side -side comparison of Hildren and Octavia, you'll see what I mean. But um, they showed off how the Warframe looked, and they also mentioned that it doesn't like rely on energy, but it gets its energy from her shield. And that's interesting. I want to see how that works out. Maybe she might have more, might have the most shields in the game because her energy is her shield. But uh, when I also looked at her, I was like, that's a really buff Warframe. And another Warframe that came to mind was um, Rhino. I was like, oh shoot, we now have, we now got a female version of Rhino. This is going to be really, really epic. But then they showed off, I think, one of her abilities that brought out an Arcwing type weapon. <clears throat> as one of her main weapons that she could use. And they also uh, showed how there is um a bug, and the uh, gun ended up in a not so pleasant place. All I'm saying is certain type of <coughs> certain type of people will uh, take inspiration from that. <laughs> so when I was watching the dev stream, I don't know if it was on purpose or accident, but in like random transitions. It would go to like this scene and um it reminded me i don't know why but out of everything it reminded me as it reminded me of the stalker i don't know maybe that was a mistake like i said or maybe that was intentional or maybe that was just a change that they might have tweeted out that i just like didn't know about because i don't like actively follow de and and such like that i just watch the occasional dev stream when it comes out maybe i might even watch your prime time here and there but like that's probably the closest thing to watching uh, a warframe stream besides the occasional you know dev stream every like two weeks but um yeah i just wanted to give some of my thoughts and opinions about the recent dev stream sadly i wasn't able to get the roadmap comment of competitive warframe because I played, I mean, 
Not comp competitive conclave, Jesus. Uh, because I play conclave a bit. Like, I might not be the best of it, best at it, but, you know, maybe I want a cool cosmetic or something. Like, besides just some of the mods you get when you reach, like, the max standing of it. Because not a lot of people play conclave, and the few that do, that are, like, really up there, I feel like if they compete with each other, it will be, like, really interesting to watch and see, like, oh, yeah, uh, this person is the best at, uh, Annihilation, and this person is the best at Team Annihilation, this person's, like, good at Lunaro. That also reminded me, they, D.E. Steve, I believe, one of them had mentioned that they were gonna do something about racing, and I think that might be, like, Conclave or, like, an event or something, but I also wanna see how that goes. Maybe, like, you race with your K-Drives, and you could switch it with, like, um, some parkour in there. But anyway, I just want to, like, see some competitive conclave and see how, like, that would be implemented. Because maybe, like, let's say they do somehow, like, implement it. And I get the, like, diamond. And I could get a reward, like, a cosmetic item. Maybe for, like, one of the weapons I use. Or maybe a Warframe skin or something. Like, you know, something that I feel like because I played competitive conclave. Like, I earned that, I deserve that, because I was decent enough to get up there and earn the reward for it, right? But I just wanna, just wanted to get this out there, you know, like, share, subscribe, all that, yada, yada, yada. Like, you know, if, if they don't see this, you know, like, tweet it to them, at them, so then they could, because not a lot of people play it, like I said. And maybe they're holding tournaments around somewhere and I just need to check and... Cause I don't, I don't really like play it that much, but when I do, it's really fun and not a lot of people actually play it. Cause it could take me up to like 5 minutes to find one random person. It could be because of the time or time zone, but you know, Conclave is fun when you actually have people to play with and against. Cause playing against your friend all the time is gonna get, you know, pretty boring, let's be honest. And then, cause sometimes you could like go against a new person in Conclave. And you could go get somebody that's been playing Conclave ever since it came out, right? And it's a good dynamic, but you know, maybe I'm already good, and I might want to like go against people better than me. But then I get, I also have to go against people that I know I'm gonna win against. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then maybe there could be like private matches or something. Pretty sure that's already a thing. But you know, competitive conclave is like the first thing that comes to mind. Because if I have everything in the conclave syndicate, closest thing I could do is like do the little weekly challenges and get that reward. And there was like a conclave event. I think it was it was last year or two years ago, where you had to um, use the 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 I can't the throwing stars. I can't think of the name right now. And the Nakana, and you got like a a heart oro from it. You are at the head that was like that. pretty interesting, and that brought like a new dynamic to it. Like I just I just want to see like more of that with some competitive spirit into it. But anyway, I just you know wanted to give my ideas and thoughts about this. Anyway, this is DJ Phantom signing out. One minute remains. Thirty seconds remain.
The lead has been taken. Ten seconds remain. Five, four, 